In this video, I will explain how to plot multiple data files in origin. Multiple data files can easily be combined and plotted on a single frame in origin. To upload multiple data files first, add a new workbook by clicking on this button and then clicking on import multiple ASCII files. The ASCII is an acronym for American Standard Code for Information Interchange and can upload .dat file. If you click on this button, a new window containing some folder will be opened where you have the option to move backward and forward and locate the files you want to upload. I have DAT files saved in this folder and I want to upload four out of this file by clicking the add button and then ok button when i press the ok button another windows appear now on this window you need to click on the replace existing data file drop down menu and select start new columns and then pressing the ok button Now you see these files are added in the form of different columns. We know that every DAT file contains two different types of data. One column contains the data of plotting parameter and the other column contains the data of the physical quantity depending on the plotting parameter. So we have overall so far four files we have overall eight columns now if we have a careful analysis the data in this column is exactly equal to the data in this column to the data in this column to the data in this column into the data in this column so these columns are in fact correspond to the plotting parameter so we need to delete these columns so that only one plotting parameter data exists on the workbook. Therefore, selecting all these columns and deleting them one by one. Now the origin will plot the data in all these four columns against the data in the first column. If I click on this corner and select all the columns and then press the right button on your notepad, another window opens up and coming here to the plot and then selecting from the line option and then again the line option, all the, four, the data in four columns will be plotted. If I drag this here to the corner, now I have five colors over here and if I check I have five columns in the data files one two three four five so to each column there is a color I can further change these color by clicking on any one of these colors to reach this window here you have to select the independent option and then come to the line option so we have this color and from here you can change the size of each color on the frame for publication purposes usually the width is chosen to be three or four then come over here to select the other one and uh, then i first consider dashed then again the size thickness and that i do for the rest of the colors you can change the color from this tape as per your own choice and then dotted color with this dash dotted size three and then the last one i choose to be dash dot dot and size three clicking apply and then ok now you see the thickness of each color is changed i can similarly change the data the size from here and it is 
recommended to choose 28 and here you can choose 28 similarly clicking on this you can I call it X and we'll make it italic and over here I write F as a function of X. You can add the frame to all the side by grid line here opposite and then the horizontal were selected and opposite and apply it is I can also change the scale length I can change the increment and from here I would like to take this 2 and from here to 0 the same I do for vertical I start this from 1.6 with increment 0.4 and from here I just choose 3 and that would change the scale on each side you now see it is touching the borderline so I think it is good to once again change the vertical scale from 1.62 1 1.8 and here 3.1 is correct so that we could have a proper view of the so this way you can add multiple files and can edit their thickness and can change the size of the box as well